Good morning, everybody. Well, it's almost one, but still. I'm just making <coughs> two. <coughs> Tug! Two eggs and a piece of toast for lunch, <coughs> which is what I usually have. What are you doing? Who's out here? Nobody. So stop it. There's nobody out here. And it's really hot today. But I have to ride the bike after I ate my lunch. I have been losing weight. Four pounds so far, so that's good. Uh, I think once I lose ten pounds, that one pair of jeans I have will fit more comfortable again. So that'll be good. Now that it's August, I'm hoping the heat will go away. I mean, it'll be hot all through August, but then September comes and things will get better. So that's good. Aww. You love that dog, don't you, Sammy? <laughs> Do you love the kitty? Uh, I don't know. He eats my food. I don't like that. Well, it's time for work again. Of course, Don and Dana have been at work all day. Today I made lunch, um, rode the exercise bike, took a shower, did laundry, it's outside on the clothesline, and now I have the next three days off after tonight and that's going to be really nice. It was very, very hot today, so I'm going to appreciate the air conditioning in the car and at work. It was, let me see, it is, ugh, it's 90 degrees in here in the house. Yuck. So that sucks. We can't have air conditioning because Don doesn't want us to because of the power bill. Even though we have an air conditioner we can't use it but that's just how it goes. And hopefully he'll vlog for you guys. I'll leave it by his chair like I always do. Uh, when I got my guitar strings Dad looked at the guitar and said the guitar is good, but the strings suck. So on the recommendation of our friend Randy, I picked this brand and sent for them off eBay. But now I have to figure out how to change the strings, because the strings that they put on the guitar don't stay in tune. So that'll be something I'll be doing over the next three days, is trying to figure that out. At least they're color-coded. And... Uh, I was going to say something else and I forgot. Oh well. I guess I'll see you tonight. Good morning, everybody. Don had to stay home to, from work today, let Dan know he couldn't work because he needs to help me with my car. Because the brake light has been on for the last couple days and I noticed the, the pedal was getting squishy and that's not right. So he went out and checked it last night and he found out I have a rusted out brake line and I'm leaking braking fluid. I'm leaking brake fluid! So you can tell I just woke up. And, uh, that hey, sucks. Hey, what's that? What? Leaking out of your ear. There's nothing leaking out of my ear. Oh, it's a little green. Maybe, because I just woke up. And it's hot. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah Let's see how hot right. it is in here now. Someone I showed walking, him yesterday. Someone could walk in the same room I'm in. 82. But it'll get hotter. Hey, duck. You're turning black. I don't know what kind of duck you are because you're turning black. Fuck a duck. <laughs> but anyway, I have the next three days off and he has today off because he needed to fix my car. We both just woke up, so we'll see what happens, right? Oh, yeah? Yeah. <sighs> it was good to not have to get up early, though. No, it's not. It's still 10, 10, 10, so we didn't sleep all day. Well, he's going to find out exactly where my car is leaking from now. It sucks. And it's because of the Michigan road salt. It rusted my brake line. And it broke. So it's a good thing I even have brakes right now. I knew something was wrong yet let yesterday because the brake pedal is real squishy.
You see anything? Not yet. I'm lucky to have a boyfriend who knows how to fix cars. Because every guy I ever dated before, they didn't even know how to check their oil. Or check the air in their tires or anything. This is not the first car I've ever had where the brake lines rusted out from the salt. So this is not something new for me. And it sucks. Push on your brake pedal for me. Yeah. Oh, there's garbage on the floor. I gotta clean the car again. Yep. All right. You found it. You don't need me to do it anymore. Nope. Uh. Yes, yeah, rusted out. Not a surprise. Is it going right on the ground? When you hit it, it sprays out in the mist. Oh, great. <laughs> You're all full of grass. <laughs> Well, good. But we gotta have to drive it to town to get the parts, right? Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> good thing I have the next three days off. I don't have to worry about getting to work before we can fix it. And another weird thing about this car too is I'm, that I'm always burning out headlights. How many have I had to have now since like four new headlights? Three. Three? Every few months? At 12 bucks a pop, so that's awesome. Okay, one that goes to your front driver's tire. Okay. Now we know what we gotta have. All right. Yeah, he took the day off so that he could fix it for me so I don't die. Well, at least it's one that's going to be easy access to get to. Yeah. So. <laughs> you trying to brush your hair back? You don't have any? <laughs> Shit. I'm trying to get the sand off. Oh. Hey, Tug, coming out from under the porch. <laughs> Aw. Good boy. Yeah, the rest of them appear to be in fair condition, so... Well, good. At least up and through here. Yeah. Be easy to get to. Yeah. It's... Ow, don't scratch me. That's mean. We need to clip your nails again.
Ouch! Your tire. What? I said it's the line that comes off of your ABS box. Okay. Well, thank you. Well, I know what one you gotta have. And thank you for knowing what you're doing. Uh uh. <laughs> so we're gonna go get the parts we need now for the car, and he has to pay the power bill. So it's so hot. I think I'll start the car because he brought the keys and turn the air conditioning on. Ugh. I told him he's driving. It's too scary for me to drive right now with bad brakes. I mean they're not gone. But they're really low. So I'm done with that. Modern day life anymore. People depend too much on fucking brakes. So this is what he has to do to stop because the brakes are almost gone. Put it in neutral. No. Slow him down first. Yeah. Don't shift it to first. Never don't shift it to first if you're going too fast. Uh this is why I didn't want to drive it. He knows what he's doing, I don't. I would have drove it like a normal person if I was all alone and ran out of brake fluid. Cause I'm dumb. I'm a dumb girl. <laughs> uh, well, women like to think they know it all. I don't think I know it all. Why do you think I had you drive? I don't know anything about that. And here we go to get the parts. Scary, just scary. We have something scary coming up. We're here at the power company. And then we have to leave down that hill. So, you said you have, might have to throw the car in reverse? Only if we lose the brakes and if there's someone coming. Oh, so scary. <laughs> well, here we go. Trying to pull this one off. Oh boy. Go down on a slight angle to where if I have to hug the shoulder, I can. Reverse, slow this down some. Right, we're good to go. We made it! Woohoo! <laughs> hey everybody, uh, I'm here with uh, the parts for Tino's car, and I have went ahead and took it upon myself to go ahead and get the tire off, get a piece of the plastic fender well taken out to be able to get in there to change a brake line and so far I have gotten tire off piece of fender well taken out and I have already loosened up the brake line ends but it, this is the brake line the metal one that has to be replaced it had rusted out right there where it bends around and I got it loosened up on the EBS control box. Now it's just all a matter of taking it out and bending the other new brake line into place. And from my parents, I have all the supplies that we need. Looks like we need no other fittings. And so that's all for down here. Then, then up in here. Right there, right here is the ABS box that controls your ABS. And I unhooked this brake line here already. It's just sitting there. And that's what it's going to take to replace the, the old brake line. And then after that, I'm going to have to bleed it. So, other than that, that's it for now. So the brakes are fixed, but it's too hot to be home. It's horrible. I got sick. I ended up laying on the couch all sick and dizzy. So we're going to Sheboygan. Uh, enjoying the air conditioning in the car and then we'll enjoy air conditioning stores and stuff because it's just too hot. It says it's 92 but it feels worse than that. Right? White ass. Oh, it sucks. We don't have air conditioning. Do you think so? Yeah. I got this to help with 
uh, pediolites and, and electrolytes and whatever. So that should help. came home and I went for a walk and now we're relaxing and it's still hot it's cool outside but it's hot in here I don't think it's gonna cool off in here but we're gonna say good night and we hope that you enjoyed the video and that you like subscribe comment share and you're having a good night your turn good night yeah, yeah. good night good morning okay only because it just is. no it is quarter after 11 at night. Alright. So we'll see you tomorrow.